Hello, my name is Russell Taylor and I am the head teacher of Robert Clack School. Welcome to our virtual open evening. As a former pupil of this school who grew up on the Heath Park estate in Dagenham, I can tell you that Robert Clack and the young people of our borough are very important to me. Being the father of two boys, a 23 year old and a 15 year old, I've been in your position and fully appreciate the responsibility you have as parents, together with your children, of choosing the right secondary school for them. I know it's not an easy task, and I see it as our duty to give you the very best insight into what the Robert Clack School community stands for and what life as a Robert Clack pupil is like, so that together with your child, you can make the right decision about which secondary school to choose. If our values align with yours, then of course we would be very pleased for you to put Robert Clack as your first choice. To give you an idea of what it means to be a member of our community, I would like to share with you some of the history of our school, which opened in September 1955. The school was named after a man who had served as the mayor of the borough of Dagenham, as it was then known between 1940 and 1942, Alderman Robert Clack. Now you may wonder why this is of any significance to us over 60 years later, but I believe the reason is extremely important. The values by which Alderman Clack lived his life are the values that permeate our school ethos today. Following his death in 1953, the Dagenham Post's tribute to Robert Clack described him as a champion for social justice because he fervently believed in equality of opportunity. As a railwayman, trade unionist and local council member, he worked tirelessly to advance the cause of the people of Dagenham. He stood up for them and he believed in them. At Robert Clack School, we strive to invoke the spirit of Alderman Clack in all that we do each and every day. And this is summarised perfectly by the maxim, excellence for all, excellence from all. I can think of no greater sense of purpose than that which comes from working with young people to help them fulfil their ambitions in life, whatever they may be. This shared sense of purpose unifies all of us in our determination to deliver the very best education for our pupils, one which will equip them with the knowledge, skills and attributes necessary to fulfil their potential and make a valuable contribution to society. Consequently, the values that were integral to Alderman Clack are fundamental to our school community in the 21st century, and those values are mutual respect, compassion for others, discipline, high expectations and aspirations, and hard work. In partnership with our parents over many years, we have built a school community which takes real pride in behaving respectfully and compassionately at all times. Treating others as we ourselves would like to be treated as well as taking every opportunity to be kind to each other, are attributes that we continuously encourage amongst all members of the community here at Robert Clack. Many studies have shown that where human beings embrace the values of mutual respect and compassion, they are much happier, and we mustn't underestimate the importance of being happy, especially at school. If young people feel happy, if their well-being is maximised, then we know they will flourish and achieve. However, in order for our pupils to flourish and achieve, not only must we be respectful and kind, we must also have a disciplined environment. We believe excellent behaviour is enhanced by a strong reward system and a school culture which celebrates success. Nearly all children respond positively when they are encouraged and recognised for their efforts and achievements, which is why we hold weekly achievement assemblies and annual presentation evenings for pupils of all year groups. However, we must also accept that poor behaviour occasionally arises and, when it does, appropriate sanctions must be implemented. All schools and governing bodies have to take their responsibility in respect of disruptive or challenging behaviour seriously, and Robert Clack School is no different. But if we are to manage behaviour successfully, then we must recognise that the partnership between the school and parents is absolutely crucial. If we work together, we can help our pupils successfully navigate the challenges of growing from children into young adults. We are very proud of our pupils' behaviour, it is excellent. However, don't take my word for it. Ask our pupils what behaviour is like at our school. It should come as no surprise that our commitment to the values of mutual respect, compassion and discipline has contributed to highly successful pupil outcomes over a number of years. However, whilst those values are necessary in order to achieve success, they are not on their own sufficient. They must be complemented by an unrelenting commitment to the highest expectations of and aspirations for our pupils. We expect our pupils to work hard at all times and to always give their best effort. And in the same way that Alderman Clack had faith in the people of Dagenham, we believe that our pupils have the potential 
to be as successful as students anywhere in the country. Our aspirations for them are unconstrained, but our faith is not misplaced. It's based on the achievements of our pupils over many years. Outcomes at GCSE have been consistently above the national average, while sixth form students have achieved A-level and vocational qualifications that rival the very best schools and colleges across London. In turn, this has facilitated their entry onto highly competitive degree courses at the top universities in the UK and overseas. Beyond the classroom, our pupils have achieved success across the full range of extracurricular options. I'm sure you've heard of our reputation as an elite sports school. In athletics, we have been the borough champions for 24 consecutive years, and last summer, our junior boys and junior girls teams qualified for the national finals of the Track and Field Cup. To put this achievement into context, over 500 schools enter the competition, and only the best 13 schools progress to the national finals. You can imagine how proud we were of our girls who came eighth and our boys who came second. On the rugby field, our boys regularly compete in Essex Cup finals across all age groups and our girls rugby and netball teams have reached countless local, regional and national finals. In debate, we have established an outstanding pedigree which has resulted in numerous successes including coming third in the World Debating Championships which were held in Japan three years ago and winning the Bill Gates Big Debate which took place in London last year. In addition to sport and debate, significant numbers of our pupils participate in our drama productions, music concerts and dance shows whilst our school council is incredibly active throughout the school year and, amongst many accomplishments, has raised a considerable amount of money for local charities. Furthermore, educational visits to destinations both within and beyond the UK take place every year. Recently, our pupils have visited South Africa and China. When we return to normality, we will resume a full programme of visits. Encouraging our pupils to take part in a wide range of activities is important because it contributes to their holistic education and helps them develop a range of skills and attributes such as teamwork, effective communication and resilience which are vitally important to their future successes. Of course, none of this would be possible without highly committed and talented teaching and support staff who are only too willing to give their time before school, at lunchtime, after school, at the weekends and during school holidays to ensure that our pupils can benefit from these amazing opportunities. I am very proud of our staff and I am exceptionally grateful to them for their steadfast dedication to our pupils. The fact that 45 members of the teaching and support staff are former pupils of our school gives you some indication of just how special our community is. I believe it's for the reasons I've outlined that Robert Clack has been so popular and heavily oversubscribed for so many years. If, after this virtual open evening, you decide that Robert Clack is the school for you, I urge you to put us down as your first preference so that you have the very best opportunity of gaining a place here. If you choose Robert Clack, and if you are successful, I very much look forward to working with you. If you decide to go to another school, I wish you all the very best.